Mystery. Hi, Mr. Mr. Rabbit. Hi, kids. Guess what? What? It's cherry time in Busy Town again. Mmm, cherries. I love cherries. Me too. Mmm. Me three. Well then, help yourselves. Yeah! Hooray! Let's go! Don't eat them all at once. You don't want to get a tummy ache. We won't. Mm. Or maybe we will. Mm. Busy Town cherries are the best ever. I can't reach. Allow me, Sally. <laughs> <laughs> Lily. Cherry time in Fizzy Town! <laughs> we love cherries! We noticed. <laughs> Did you see that? Those greedy birds ate all our cherries! Yeah. Looks like we're not the only ones who love cherries. Look up there! They missed one! Ah. Those birds are gonna get all the cherries in Busy Town! Not if we beat them to it! Let's go! Oh my, would you look at that! Someone's painted red dots all over my mailbox. Did you kids see who did it? Sorry, Mr. Rabbit. We didn't see anyone. We were too busy watching Pig Will and Pig Won't picking the cherries. Who would do something like that? I have no idea. And that can only mean one thing. It's... a mystery! Busy Town Action Bug News! Mr. Rabbit's mailbox has been spotted by a red spot painter. Huckle, can you connect the dots on this mystery for us? Well, Goldbug, we're going to try. We'll solve the red spot painter mystery and figure out who painted the spots on Mr. Rabbit's mailbox. Spot on, Huckle. Ready for it? Here goes! Who, what, why, how? Who, what, when, where, why, how? Who, what, why, how? Who, what, when, where, why, how? Everybody! Who, what, when, where, why, how? Solve a mystery! for important news updates. Go bug at... Where to begin? Hmm. Mr. Rabbit, did you see anyone hanging around your house today? Nope. Just you kids. Well, we know that we didn't paint the spots. Maybe someone painted it while we were picking cherries and you weren't looking. I did leave to turn off my hose, but I was only gone for a moment. My mailbox was white when I left and covered in spots when I returned. Hmm. So that means that the mystery red spot painter is very fast. <gasps> Look! That delivery truck is covered in the very same red spots as Mr. Rabbit's mailbox. <gasps> the red spot painter has struck again. 
Maybe the driver of the truck can help us figure out who's doing it. After that truck! you could tell us who painted those red spots on your truck. Gee, I wish I knew. I've been trying to figure out the very same thing myself. When did you first notice them? After I delivered a package to Hilda Hippo's house. The spots weren't there when I went inside the house, but when I came out, my truck was covered in them. How long were you inside? That's just it. I was only there for a few minutes. A mailbox is one thing, but a whole truck? You're right, Loli. Who can paint that many spots in just a few minutes? Did you see anyone while you were delivering the package at Hilda's? No one. From one end of the street to the other. No one. Come back with our cherries, you cherry-robbing birds! Where'd they go? <laughs> hey! Take that! Take that! Hey! Maybe the red spots on the mailbox in the truck are actually fingerprints. Fingerprints? It wasn't me. It wasn't me either. I know it wasn't. How can you be sure, Huckle? Because first, Pig Will and Pig Won't wouldn't do anything like that. And second, even Pig Will and Pig Won't together couldn't cover a delivery truck with fingerprints in only a few minutes. You're right, Huckle. We, we were right, right too. Uh oh, it's those cherry picking birds again. They're going to get all the cherries before we do. After them! So, if Pig Will and Pig Won't didn't put the spots all over the mailbox and the delivery truck, who did? Maybe Hilda saw something when the delivery man delivered her package. Let's go ask her. I sure hope Hilda can tell us who the red spot painter is. Did you say that, Huckle? I thought you said it. Well, I don't think any of us said it. I said it. Me, Horace. <laughs> oh, hi, Horace. Hi, Huckle. Hi, Sally. Hi, Loli. What are you doing? We came to see your cousin Hilda. Oh, she's not home. She's gone to buy bread at the bakery. Mmm, I don't mind going there. I love bread almost as much as I love cherries. Yummy! Not so fast, Loli. How long have you been up in your treehouse, Horace? Ever since breakfast. Did you see the delivery truck drop off a package for Hilda? Sure did. When it came, it was all white. And when it left, it was covered in red spots. Then you must have seen someone near the truck. Did you see anyone near the delivery truck, Horace? Think carefully. It's very important. Yes, I did see someone. Who? The truck driver! Oh. oh. Then I guess you don't know how the spots got on the truck, do you, Horace? No, and I don't know how those spots got on the roof, either. Huh? What spots? On what roof? Those spots on that roof. You want to come up and see? Sure. sure. A mailbox, okay. A delivery truck, maybe. But how could someone paint spots on the roof of a whole house? Maybe there's more than one spot painter. That's it. An army of spot painters painting red spots. Did you see anyone with ladders? Nope. All I saw was, first, no spots, then lots of spots. Thanks, Horace. This doesn't make much sense. How could Mr. Rabbit's mailbox, the delivery truck, and Hilda's whole roof get red spots on them so fast and no one saw anything? Go away, you messy birds! There are hardly any cherries left on this tree! Yeah! Leave some cherries for us! Yeah! Yeah! Uh. <laughs> cherries! Ah. Painted those red spots. 
And Busy Town Action News is on the spot for the scoop. So what is the scoop, Huckle? Well, Goldbug, here's what I think happened. We discovered red spots on Mr. Rabbit's mailbox and on the delivery man's truck and even on Hilda's roof. But no one ever saw anyone actually paint the spots. So we figured that whoever it was had to be very fast and that there was probably more than one spot painter at work. But who were they? Then I saw the birds in Hilda's cherry tree dropping cherries from their beaks. They were splattering Pig Will and Pig Won't with cherry juice spots. Spots that looked just like the spots on the mailbox, the truck, and the roof. And that's when I realized that the spots weren't from red paint, but were from red cherry juice. The spot painters were none other than a flock of birds. So there you have it, folks. Huckle has solved another mystery. Goldbug signing off because it's cherry time in Busy Town, and I love cherries. Goldbug out. Huckle was right. Everybody all together solved a mystery with Huckle. I rather like these red spots on my mailbox. Hey, how about some ice cream and cherries to celebrate Huckle solving the mystery? Mmm, cherries. We love cherries. We really love cherries. But I can't eat any more cherries today. And I can't eat any more all week. Are you sure about that? Well, maybe just one more cherry. Ah, 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 ah. <gasps> hey, that's ours! Give us back our cherry! <laughs> <laughs> the teeny weeny piano mystery. I guess you're just having a stroke of bad luck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's my turn again. Pepino! I'm so sorry, Pepino. Are you okay? Oh, not to worry. I'm fine. In fact, I'm in such a good mood, nothing could upset me today. You see, I just bought my wife the perfect gift. I'd show it to you, but it's all wrapped up in tissue paper. It's a musical jewelry box. I can't wait to give it to her. So, I'd better package it back up again and hurry home. That's a catchy tune, Pepino. Yes, it's my wife's favorite song. Goodbye now. Bye. I bet I can whistle that tune. I bet she can. Oops, I'll go get it. <gasps> What's this? Hey, guys! Look what I found! It's a tiny piano! Wow, that's neat! But who would own such a teeny-weeny piano? I have no idea, but it certainly is a super-duper... mystery! Busy Town Action Bug News! <laughs> Is Goldbug reporting live from Busy Town Park, where Huckle and his team have found a teeny weeny piano? So, Huckle, what's the big news on the tiny piano? I'm not sure yet, Goldbug, but we're going to find out who this tiny piano belongs to and solve the teeny weeny piano mystery. Okay, ready for it? Here goes! <gasps>
it, folks. It's a musical mystery. Go, Bug. Ah! So, Hucko, where should we begin? Well, since it's a piano, we should probably find someone who knows about musical instruments. But do we even know anyone who plays a musical instrument? Yes, you do! We do? Yes! Us! Hey, you know what we need? Uh, guitar lessons? No, we need electric guitars! Yeah, they're much louder. Come on, let's go buy some. You know, Pig Will and Pig Won't just gave me an idea. If we want to find someone who knows about musical instruments, we should go to someone who sells them. Like Mr. Pizzicato at the Busy Town Music Store. What a great idea! It'll be an even better idea if we can get there before Pig Will and Pig Won't, so that we don't have to listen to their music again. Then follow me! I know a shortcut! Sorry, I can't help you. I've never sold a musical instrument this tiny. All my customers are a teensy-weensy bit bigger. No kidding. Only someone really tiny could play such a tiny piano. Hey, great idea, Loli. Maybe we need to think about who in Busy Town is tiny enough to play this piano. Thanks for your help, Mr. Pizzicato. You're welcome. Good luck. First one inside gets to pick our electric guitars. No, last one inside gets to pick. Okay. So let's think about who is tiny enough to play this piano. Well, it's definitely not Hanley Elephant, Miss Honey, or Hilda Hippo. They're all way too big. Mrs. Fox, Aunt Flory, and Mr. Rabbit are smaller, but they're still too big to play this piano. Hey, how about Abel Baker Charlie? He looks about the right size. It can't hurt to ask. Let's go. Hi, Abel Baker Charlie. We were wondering if you could help us solve a mystery. We found this teeny weeny piano, and we're trying to find out who it belongs to. Could it be your piano? No, I'm sorry, it's not. I don't even play the piano. But my cousin Bentley does. He's a composer. He lives over there. You can't miss it. Just listen for the music. Thanks. Bye, Charlie. Thanks for your help. Hello, Mr. Bentley. I'm Huckle, and this is Sally and Loli. We found this tiny piano, and we were wondering if it might belong to you. No, but I've been waiting years to find a piano that is tiny enough for me to play. May I? Of course. We'd love to hear you play. Hey, where's the sound? I thought all pianos made sound. They should, but these piano keys don't move. Why would anyone want to have a piano that doesn't play music? Hmm, well, maybe it's not the kind of piano that people play. Maybe it's a toy piano. Right, a toy piano that makes music on its own. Maybe, but how? If you thought we sounded good before, we're even better now. Check out our electric guitars. Oh, you know what we forgot? <laughs> we forgot to turn them on! Hey, maybe the toy piano has a switch too. One that makes the music turn on and off. Good idea, Sally. Let's see. Look, there's a switch on the back. No, it's not a switch. It's a key. What's a key doing on a piano? Who would want to lock a piano? I think I can help. May I? Ah, I see. It is not the kind of key that locks. It is a wind-up key. It works the same way as a wind-up toy. You wind up the piano, and voila! It should play music. Allow me to demonstrate. Hmm, still no music. Do you want us to play another song? No! no. You know what we need? Something to plug our guitars into to make them sound even louder. Right, like a guitar speaker. If the toy piano isn't playing music, then maybe it's broken. You could be right. And there's only one way to find out. We need to ask an expert on broken things. Mr. Mr. Fix it. it! Thanks for all your help, Mr. Bentley. Bye. 
The wind-up key must be attached to another mechanical piece inside the piano, which probably makes the music play. But I'll need to take a look inside. If I could only figure out how it opens. Ah! Here it is! The tiny piano has a tiny lid. You know, that song sounds really familiar. I'm sure I've heard it before, but I can't remember where or when. Look, there's a ring. Who would put a gold ring inside a tiny piano? Maybe that's what the tiny piano is for, to keep jewelry in. Hey, now I remember where I heard this song. You, you do? do? Yes, and I know who this tiny piano belongs to. So, Huckle, did you solve the teeny weeny piano mystery? I'm pretty sure I did, Goldbug. Here's what I think happened. First, we found a tiny piano. So we looked for someone small enough to play it. We found Mr. Bentley, who was small enough, but he couldn't play the piano because the keys didn't move. That's because it wasn't a regular piano. It was a piano that you wind up with a key that plays music when you open the lid. Then we found a ring inside the piano and realized it was a jewelry box that plays a musical tune. A catchy tune that I remembered hearing Pepino whistle earlier that day. I think this tiny piano is Pepino's musical jewelry box that must have fallen out of the gift box when Pepino fell off his bicycle. Well, there you have it, music fans. Huckle has solved the teeny weeny piano mystery. Everybody all together solved a mystery with Huckle. You can solve one too. And that's Maestro Goldbug signing out. Thanks. Bye, Mr. Fixit. See you. Oh, <laughs> you found my musical jewelry box. I've been looking for it everywhere. I came home with all my parcels and gave my wife the gift box. But when she opened it, it was empty. Don't worry, Pepino. Your gift is safe and sound. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? One, two, and three! Huh? I don't know about you, but I'd say the pig's guitar playing has never sounded better. <laughs> <laughs>